Greetings, Internet peoples. Uh, giving you a brief tour today of some of my Nightmare on Elm Street memorabilia. This is going to be broken up into uh, several sections because the shit's all over the house. So, uh, let's take a look at some of my some of my stuffs. Now, first stuff, we have this is hanging on the bathroom door. This is a t-shirt I got from Mark Patton. Move over, Heather. There's a new Nancy boy in town. Signed by Mark. You're going to see a lot of signatures from this guy. I have uh, met him on a handful of occasions and a uh, super sweetheart of a guy. Absolutely love him. And over here we have the OG Freddy vs. Jason uh, box set paid for at Spencer's gift shop. And yes, that's right, $29.99 for that bad boy. I know it's a little bit higher now in price. Awful dusty. Uh, birthday gift this previous year from a buddy of mine. Not really into that series, but uh, he knows I love Elm Street and anything of it. I got my lanyard, and there's another figurine that I picked up from uh, Toys R Us back in the day when you could get uh, freaky toys at Toys R Us. And you know, down there I got one of the CDs with a compilation of a lot of the scores from the first six films, comic book. And of course up here, this is a lovely piece. That's a gift from Roger a few years ago out of his own collection of stuffs. He knows I'm the Freddy fan and he knows it'd be appreciated more here than anywhere else in the world. And up here, of course, ignore Marcus Phoenix. We have one of the OG Freddy dolls. Packaging is a little beat to shit, but uh, got a little bit of a discount for it being that, in that condition, but couldn't pass up getting a hold of that. And then we have this 18-inch uh, figurine of part two. Uh, if I can open it up. It's hard to see, but Mark Patton has signed that as well. Of course, he circled Freddy's crotch because, geez, they really put a lot of significance on that. But super 80s looking. Love that figurine. And over here, we have a 1989 sign, road sign that I picked up at a con a couple of years ago. I used to have this when I was a kid. So now I have it again as an adult, even better. And then we got a replica glove there that I bloodied up and have hanging, but now I have some of my toy line that I have still in packaging. Got our part two there. Then I got the you know, part three in a tuxedo. Super cool. And we got, you know, Dr. Fred here. And then, you know, the Comic Con exclusive. Boom. Super Freddy. So that's a nice collection there. Also got some other murder weapons just hanging up for the heck of it. You know, like you do. And of course, no collection is complete without the latest edition that I picked up. My own, uh, from the part two mold, my own Fred head here. Super cool. All right, I think, no, I have one other piece. Two other pieces hanging up in the living room. This is an OG part two poster. We got a signature from Robert Engel himself. Still haven't met the guy, but I have several signatures from him that I purchased. Then over here we have some uh, pop art. That was a gift from the Nerds of Nostalgia on my birthday a few years ago from uh, Freddy's Dead. Super cool. Yeah, got to have a lot of magnets on the fridge. And I mean, can't have a fridge magnets without having a couple of Krugers in there as well, man. Got to have them. All right. We welcome to the basement. Oh, this will be a little bit of a show off of things here. We have my Freddy's Nightmares poster right there. And we have one of these crawlers that goes on your lines, like your charge cord lines. Little uh, mini Funko Pop, super cool. I've had this for years. I can't get too back to see much of it, but we have an OG poster. Uh, probably reprint though. I bought it in like 2002. And then another mini poster down there. And then whoop, we flip sides and we have part four. Super happy about having that poster as well. And then I have this uh, nice piece of the NES game as a poster art. Ugh. The original Freddy vs. Jason magazine right before that movie came out. Super hyped to see that. And I have the uh, belt buckle. That's <laughs> so I don't really wear belt buckles, but I'll take any memorabilia I can find. Hang that thing up. 
This is super neat. This is a dog tag that Ken Sagos was selling at his table. And we have the etching of the part three poster on right there. And then of course on the back, booking a Kincaid. Ken Sagos. Have that hanging up. Then we have of course the Dawkins uh, record right here. Picked that a few years ago. Not not cheap, but uh, I mean, gotta have it. Just got to. And then we have the poster that came out of that Freddy vs. Jason magazine from that so old, so old and beat up. And then we have a full size part three poster. I know it's gonna irritate some people. It's just nail in the wall, not framed, but it's got it had some damage when I picked it up, so that makes it a little easier. <laughs> easier than buying a brand new car, but a used car it's beat up a little bit, right? We got another part two poster sign from Mark Patton while he was in town. Super rad. Love getting stuff signed by Mark. And we got this bit of artwork as well here. Freddie Jason Ash. Super cool. And we have a little collection of more stuff here. We got some of my Fangoria's replica glove. That's a little art piece that the wife did for me. Took a bunch of the trading cards and made a canvas piece out of it. But there's our Fangoria's. Von Goria's. Another part three poster with Kincaid's uh, signature on it. It'll focus. And uh, Heather Langenkamp as well. So we got that hanging up down here. Back to the Fangoria's. The Kruger Fangoria wall. And of course I found this little I just found that for selling like a thrift store for a dollar and I was like, that's just funny. I gotta own it. And we got up here, we got a little toy Freddy just tearing up some film stock. You know, like you do. Oh, one other Fangoria down here in the corner. Had to hang those up. Alright, also we're down in the basement where the magic happens. I got an uh, OG uh, <laughs> uh, remake poster here. It's a little beat up in the corner. It's on poster board, but it came with a package deal with one of the replica gloves, so why the heck not, right? And of course, apologize for that lighting, and you can see me! See me! But in the Funko Pops, we got, you know, back there underneath, you know, Ash's crotch, we have an NES, uh, Freddy, and the OG Freddy Funko Pop, and then we have another 8-bit style up here in front. This was a fun piece to find him again. That was one of the first toys I had. He was originally like an air freshener or just a little novelty thing hang from a car. He had a little uh, string on top of his head attached to the hat. Cut that off because who needs that? He's super tough to see but there's the original 18-inch Freddy there. The sensor still works on him. Wave it. He'll talk to you. And of course down here we got our part one, part two in the bag, the snake. We got NES, Freddy back there. None of those count, there's all that other stuff. Down here we got this bust. Super cool, that's numbered. Only so many of those were made, apparently. We got the, ah! we got the part five figurine there. That was a, I did an unboxing for a while ago. Then we got a couple other figurines. The, the part three I just did. A couple of uh, Rotten Rentals back there. Rocking those VHS covers. And we got a bobblehead right here. And down here I got another uh, replica glove that's from the remake. The infamous flask from the... Uh, uh, from the mystery crate packages when they were doing those. And we got the uh, chopsticks. We got the screen grabs, part three, snake. The only Funko Pop that's still in the case, syringe fingers that the wife searched high and low for me to get from uh, Hot Topic. We got the soundtrack from Freddy vs. Jason. And an OG box of Fright Flicks, collectible cards where he was on the cover. And there I got Mark Patton where he signed a copy of the Nightmare 2 script and Jesse's Lost Journals there. 
Oh, and also I still have my original Fright Flix Freddy Krueger uh, trading card. A little tough to see, but that thing's weathered and beat to shit. But uh, had it for a number of years. <laughs> Bonus, I forgot to tell you. I still got my OG Freddy Krueger spitball. And man, does he still work good. I also, also got this banner here that I put. You're supposed to put over the doors, but I mean, I just have it hanging up. Because, I mean, why the heck not? And then there's my other Robert England autographed picture that I picked up. Just uh, I mean, why not? It was in a package deal with the with a replica glove, so I was like, yeah. And I'm sure as how you've seen in the past uh, some of the live streams when I had the table flipped the other way. This is the other wall banner that you can put. You're supposed to put over uh, windows and shit and have it illuminate from the backside to make it shine, but. I was like, fuck that, this is the big ass paper poster I'm gonna just hang out in the basement. So, there he is. Yeah, I got this. This oh, piece yeah, he's here, which is super nice. This is an or, original design replica. Hard to see because of some glare there, but I do have Mark Patton signature, Lisa Wilcox, Heather Langenkamp, and Ken Sagos. All signed on this bad boy. Hanging up in a nice display case. Love it. Okay, now we're down here in the basement next to my old school VHS setup. We got another part three Freddy here, neck of figure line with his boiler. I was actually making a diorama for this, but uh, maybe one day I'll get back to making one. But we just have him set up next to the TV right now, which I think looks pretty cool. Oh, there, of course, we got the Never Sleep Again book signed by Tommy Hudson. Did a wonderful job there. I found a copy of Probe at a thrift store, the game that's in the uh, closet of Jesse from part two. Had to get that just for for the funny story of having it. And this here, my holy grail, an original part two poster. Uh, the originally, the one that I had was a uh, 18 by 24. This is a bit smaller. I do believe doing research, this is the one that came with the Freddy Krueger uh, fan club package back in the day where you got a mask, hat, glove, this poster, and some other things. Uh, and here, we got a couple of the uh, original tapes. I need to find a few of them still, but we got one, three, four, Freddy's Dead. And then of course here, my original copies that I had taped off of Cinemax and HBO. We got Nightmare 4, uh, Freddy's Dead, and up here, in this Ryan Reynolds case, if I can open it, we got my original tape, which has one, two, and three on it. Still looks, oddly, still looks sharper than the official tapes that came out. So, yeah, there's definitely that. And over here, we have some more figurines. These are also the ones I picked up from Toys R Us. Uh, I think we're like $14 a pop then. But they've apparently shot up in price. Man, I miss when you could buy Toys R Us toys uh, that were super fun, cool like this. But I got that line up there. Down here we got Debbie. We got Nancy snoozing away in the bedroom. And of course, I have that one in the case, but I also have one out here that's just out in the, out in the open. And then we have one here in the package. This is what came with that uh, poster. I showed a little bit earlier. This is a sign by Jackie Earl Haley. We got the certificate of authenticity with it. I just threw some of the cards on the side there to fill up the space. Just because. Oh, and down there, there's me meeting Mark Patton for the second or third time. I'm not even sure which, but he signed it. It's tough to see because it's in black, but to my friend. And we have a, if I can get him in here, a part five poster. Absolutely love that part five poster. All right. So, that's, uh, I believe, everything that I own so far that is uh, Kruger related. I wasn't able to get much of the Freddy Krueger uh, toys and collectibles when they were uh, out originally because we just didn't have a lot of coin to be able to purchase all the things that I wanted from that series. So as an adult, that's, that's what I get to do as an adult is buy all these things that I wanted back in the day and collect everything that I can. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, pretty pretty awesome to be able to, to get to do that 
And uh, what do you think, Walter? Eh. Walter, Walter thinks it's cool. What's that? Huh? Oh, midnight baseball bats and boogeyman. Done. Yeah. So that's my collection of Elm Street stuff and counting. Always looking to find new stuff. My last holy grail piece is to find something that's a screen used prop from any of the movies. That would be, man. I'd like to say if I found one, I'd be like, all right, I'm done. I don't need to own, own any more, but come on. I'll keep finding more stuff. Elm Street's my series. I love that series, and I will keep searching for more, more bits of memorabilia that I can afford to buy. But uh, that's what I got so far. Hope somebody thinks it's uh, as cool as I do. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Remember... Where cinema lives and Elm Street merchandise uh, is available, evil's lurking about. <laughs>